How y'all doing today? Vass here again with another video on Beats and Sneaks for y'all. Today we got the Air Retro Jordans, the 8s. And these are the Bugs Bunny releasing this Saturday. As y'all can see, we got the Jordan card in here. I was excited when I saw that they put that back in there. But I'm thinking that they're only going to do these for the 8s, man. If y'all want to read all the stuff, y'all can go ahead and just pause the video and read it. But the video, this card goes up to the number 22 Jordan, so I'm thinking that these were just leftover cards from last time they did the Jordan 8s, which was, what, 2007, I want to say? Or, yeah. So I'm thinking these were just leftover cards from back then when they did the Aqua. So, you know, these are going to retail for 160 and honestly, when I first grabbed this shoe, I was like, you know, it could have been better. You know, you, at first glance, I was saying it could have been better, but after you mess around with the shoe, you have it in your hand and all of that for a while, you, you just live with it. Mostly, you know, being because it's a Jordan 8 and they rarely release them, and it's been a little minute since they've been out. I think last time they came out they was limited and this time they're going to be limited too so if you can get your hands on these go ahead and get them another reason why i'm not too mad is because i already know that this is one of those shoes where um once i passed on it later on in the summer i'd be like man i should have just grabbed them i mean because i don't wear any of my shoes a lot but you know it's something that that's how it is you'll see a shoe later on and be like man i should have just got it anyway but as y'all can see, man, the detail on the shoe is perfect. The leather on this shoe is similar to the leather used on the, the fives, the fire red fives, which some people didn't like, but I like it because the shoe's gonna actually last longer. As you can see, you got the black jump man under there, but you know, as far as detailing go, man, there's nothing really much to talk about. You guys already know how the shoe is. I'm just giving y'all some detailed looks. And the inside the jump man is red. I'm gonna try to pick up on it for y'all. You can see it a little bit. But yeah, and a, and a color on the back of the shoe, um, right behind the ankle area on the back there, it's more tan looking than this video is actually picking up just a little bit. It's just a little bit darker. It's like a tannish gray color. But my favorite part of the shoe is the little part right here on the tongue, the strap going across. I, we call them the uh, crazy people strap. <laughs> The straight jacket strap, you know, going right across, you know. And then I also like this little material around the jump man here. And I like how they incorporated the Air Jordan on the strap. But overall, man, I'd say this shoe is a good overall eight and a half out of ten. The quality could have been a little bit more eye-catching. Like when you first look at the shoe, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't really like it like that. But on feet is what's going to win you over like that's what i noticed about the jordans that's coming out this year the quality of them aren't what they were even last year the year before that they they're a little different but it's because they're making them to uh last longer so the, the, the color definition is going to be a little bit different because of the material and uh, and of uh, the process they're using to build these shoes are different so to judge these shoes you really got to put them on feet and that's why in my videos i try to give y'all my honest opinion because I know most of you guys, you guys don't get this, get the shoe in your hand before you buy it. It's either you stand in line and you, you be in line for two, three hours and that's that's all. You once you get in the store, you gotta make a decision. You know, and, and some of y'all don't even go in the store, y'all order them off eBay and that's even worse because you spend way more money. So I try to always give my honest opinion on these videos. Um, uh, I'm doing a video soon. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me about replica shoes and what's my opinion about them. Uh, do I think it's hurting the shoe game and all of that? And I got a video coming out on that soon because I know a lot of people can't afford getting these shoes and some of you guys are buying replicas and don't even know it. But I'll tell you all about that in my next video. So once again, Beast of Sneaks here, hit that thumbs up and hit, a, hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all watch this in HD. Peace.